Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to a little bit of a different video. Today I'm going to be going to the FIFA 19 Leeds United game faces or in-game faces if you like, which a few guys have actually requested me to go through because uh, I do sometimes do a bit of Leeds content on this channel. Obviously got a Leeds uh, FIFA 19 corona going on right now. I'm a Leeds fan myself and a lot of Leeds fans watching as well. So I'm going to go through some of the Leeds player faces. If you're new to the channel, uh, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'm trying to push towards 20,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate you doing that. Let's so many likes we can get on today's video and hopefully a few of you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well let's crack up a thing straight away so first of all let's go through Bailey Pickup Farrell's game face basically um I mean obviously it's not particularly realistic but it's near enough it doesn't look too bad I don't think uh, it might well be the same as last year I can't quite remember what it looks like last year but there's Bailey Pickup Farrell anyway as for Luke Ayling I mean again it's a case of they've tried the best um but unfortunately, it's still not the realistic uh, in-game faces, unfortunately. Maybe we're in the Premier League, you know, next season. Pontus Janssen, again, pr I think pretty much looks very similar to last year. There might not be that many changes to some of these players, so apologies if there isn't. But there certainly are a couple of changes to some players, so I thought I'd go through them anyway. Pretty sure Le Liam Cooper looked like this last season as well. Um, so, yeah, not much of a change for him. And then out wide, we've got Barry Douglas, of course. Ex-Wolves player, this is what he looks like this year. Um, not particularly great, really, but it's it's a player face. It doesn't look terrible, but similar sort of hairstyles on most of the back four, really. Calvin Phillips. It looks like they might have changed his hairstyle slightly, because I'm pretty sure it didn't look like that in the beta. Was it the beta? I can't remember now. I think they might have changed it, so it looks marginally better. Before, it was like really thin sort of hair going back. Now it looks like they bundled it up a little bit more into like a ponytail type thing, so... Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's something that's changed recently. I'm pretty sure it has been changed, though. It looks a little bit better for Calvin Phillips, but it's difficult to get that right. Okay, Pablo. Now, we've had Pablo's face, I think, for a couple of years now in FIFA, so, as you'd expect, pretty much looks exactly the same as before. Uh, no real changes to him. And then we've got Click, of course, back in the Leeds squad this year, which is good to see. Just a very generic face from him. I don't think you're really going to be able to recognise him too much in-game. Uh, then moving on to Samu Saiz. A little bit disappointed that he didn't get a bit of a better in-game face. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as last season. He's unfortunate with him. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, then moving on to Alioski. I mean, they've tried. They've tried to get it right. They've got the hair, I think, near enough right. Don't know what's going on with the beard, though. I don't really think... Has that been a thing? I don't know. Kimo Roof looks very good, though. Fair play to FIFA for that. I don't know why they specifically changed his in-game face and not some of the other players, but I'm pretty sure he might have been on the last couple of FIFAs now, uh, but they have done a great job actually of making it look like him. Now let's take a look at Patrick Bamford. Again, I should probably expect he does have an in-game face, which is good to see another Leeds player that will have that this season, as you probably expect. He's a relatively well-known player, so good to see that happen. Uh, we've also got, is this Baker? Yeah, it's Baker here. A loan signing for Leeds, doesn't have a proper in-game face. It's not a great sort of in-game face for him, but it's a face at least. But I mean, it'll do. It'll do for now, but I mean, it would have been nice to have a proper face on him. Then moving on to Harrison as well, of course, has recently joined on loan. I say recently, joined in the summer. Uh, he's actually got an in-game face, a proper one, which is good to see, but also kind of expected. With, of course, him being a Man City player, technically not on loan from there anyway. So he does look very good, actually, which is good to see in-game. Okay, moving on to some different players here. Blackman in goal, and uh, as you can see, they've actually done, I'd say, a pretty good job with him. I mean, it's not quite... You know, 100% realistic, but they're not done a bad job with the hairstyle, I think, and everything there. Uh, I think that was not too bad. Moving on to Berardi, they never quite get him right. I don't really know what's going on there, to be honest. I don't know what you'd call that. That's even worse than my haircut, is that? Then on to Shaughnessy, sort of getting onto some of the lesser players that they're obviously not going to have in-game phases for. He just looks like every other centre-back we have at Leeds, to be totally honest, in-game. So yeah, nothing too exciting there for Shaughnessy. Then moving on to another player, which is obviously, again, not going to have an in-game face for um, one of our younger centre-backs. Um, not going to try and pronounce his name. And then playing at left-back, of course, Tom Pierce, Another player where it's just the generic sort of style. He looks exactly the same as Shaughnessy, Janssen and Cooper. So uh, it literally just looks like the same person. Adam Forshaw, though, he's here. And as you can see, he's got an in-game face, as you'd expect. I don't know what face is pulling there, though. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, obviously looking like you'd expect, really, in-game. I'm pretty sure he's had that now for a season or two, at least, uh, with him coming from Middlesbrough and then being in the Prem relatively recently. Next up, Stuart Dallas. It's the same sort of generic look, really, that a lot of the Leeds players have, so nothing too exciting for Stuart. And moving on to Brown. Great to see that Brown has an in-game face as well. Obviously, with him being at Huddersfield at one point, he does obviously have an in-game face, so he's also a Chelsea Youth Academy product and uh, Chelsea player as well that we've loaned from. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see that he does have a proper in-game face. 
Shackleton, another player that you wouldn't expect to actually have uh, any sort of in-game face. And as you can see, yeah, it's just a, it's a thin kid, really. It's just a child, essentially. Edmondson, very much a similar sort of situation for him. Again, you're not expected to him to have anything uh, more than what he's got. Uh, I won't go through the whole squad because there's still some players I won't mention in today's video, quite obviously, because they're not going to have in-game faces. But good to see that Tyler Roberts does, so that's another player for us. Uh, looks like a, a pretty realistic one, actually, as well. So happy with that one, as you probably expect, and having a face scan at West Brom, I think. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That's pretty much all the players I want to go through. There's, of course, some players in the squad that I've not gone through, but they don't even have player pictures, never mind actual in-game faces. So, I've gone through most of them. I think, on a whole, I'm pretty happy with the, the general sort of in-game faces that we've got. A uh, good selection of players, and it's sort of growing at the moment at Leeds. With us signing some more well-known players, it just seemed like we're having a better uh, squad uh, for in terms of in-game graphics anyway. So, pretty happy with what we've seen today. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments section below. And like I said, I'd really appreciate you dropping a like on today's video. And subscribing if you haven't already as well, as we try and push towards 20,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon for the Leeds United Corona and also the Real Madrid Corona, which I'm doing on this channel. It's already started, so if you've missed it, you can go ahead and watch the first three or four episodes in the link in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.